Goodbye, international football. Hello, the craziest and busiest October that Manchester United quite literally have ever had. It all starts on Sunday away at Manchester City, but Manchester United from Sunday onwards, we've got nine games in 28 days, including City, Chelsea and Everton away and Spurs, Newcastle and West Ham at home with some Europa League games shoved in between. It's a madness. It really is going to be the sternest test for Eric Ten Hag. By the end of October, we'll know what this squad can and what the squad cannot do. So what I'm going to do in this video is predict everything. Why not? I'll get them wildly wrong. I'll probably get one right. But I'm going to run through every single game and my, my feelings at this point in time going into it. It might change across the course of the month. It probably will. But you can let me know what you think in the comments below. Make sure you subscribe to United People's TV, ladies and gents. The community is growing. I really need to change that video. Every time I see it, I need to change it. I'll do it after this. But hit the subscribe button. Hit the notification bell. I would love to have you as part of the community. But yeah, this quite literally is the most matches that Manchester United have ever played in October. Let's run through these fixtures. It kicks off with City on Sunday. Then four days later, we've got Omanoia away in Cyprus. Three days after that, Everton away. Four days after that, Omanoia at home. Three days after that, Newcastle at home. Three days later, Spurs at home. Three days later, Chelsea away. Oh, and then a nice little break. Five days before Sheriff and three days between that and the game against West Ham to end the month. It's full-on madness. Let's run through every single fixture and we can have a, you can let me know what you think in the comments below your predictions for each game going into it. But of course, we kick off with City. And <laughs> what a game to kick off the month, though. City are on a different level to what Manchester United are at the moment. I don't personally feel this is the test that shows whether this Manchester United team is good or not. But City are on the top table of European football at the moment. It's painful to say, but it is. They're a well-run club and they've, they're just a very, very good team. Harden against Martinez. McTominay against Rodri? I don't really know. There's going to be a lot of battles and it'll be interesting to see how United get on on Sunday. I have no idea, genuinely no idea what to predict and what to expect. But my prediction is this. I think that United will come out on the wrong side of a 2-1, a tight 2-1 defeat. I don't think we'll get pummeled in any way, shape or form. But I think City will just have a little bit too much for us. That's my gut feeling going into the game. You can let me know what you think in the comments below. After we play City, we travel then to Omanoia. And I don't think there's really much need to waste too much time on this one. I think this should be a game like this for United, right? I think we showed against uh, Moldova. We can do it. It's going to be after the game against Sociedad that kicked off the Europa League campaign. I think Eric Ten Hag won't make the same mistake by making nine changes. Uh, but I think we should be comfortably winning that. I'm backing us to get 3-0 winners. It's going to be Everton next with four Everton next. Please watch this and please stick around because this is going to be a cracking video. So last week did the first community event. Thank you very much, 888 Poker, for helping me put this together. And I'll tell you what, it was cracking. Nearly 1,100 of you joined in this free roll. $150 to the winner tournament over on 888 Poker. And I, I rolled up the sleeves. I was like, let's go. And this is how I got on. As you always do in one of these tournaments, you want to try and double up nice and quick. I come with King 7, top pair. I like that. I go a bit aggressive. He calls it nice. No, not nice. He gets a lucky, lucky split pot. Man, trying to spoil it for what's coming next. King Jack, look at that. Suited. Yes, please. That's a nut. Well, it's not the nicest of flops, but I feel pretty confident in what I've got there. I make him play through with it. I go all in. Yes, he calls. Yes, I win. Doubled up now. Queen Ace, even better. Look, we go through. Not the nicest of flops. This guy's calling me. He's calling me all in. I go a little bit too aggressive on this one. I'll be completely honest. I think I've got the high card. No, he's got a pair of tens. Goodbye. Good night, Vietnam. I'm out. And I finished in, what, 694th place. But it didn't really matter. Congratulations to the winner. $150 to him. Free roll. Fantastic tournament. Big up to 888 Poker for helping make that happen. And I'm really looking forward to hopefully doing more of these in the future. Make sure you go over to 888 Poker. Follow the link in the description. My username is Sam UPTV. I can go, you can go on there. Maybe we can play some other games. There's other stuff you can play. Cash games, sit and go. And there really is just poker for all different levels. So follow the link in the description. Big up to all 1,100 of you nearly who signed up for it. I can't wait for the next one. Hopefully I can do better than 694. But big up to whoever won that. I'll be honest, I was hoping to finish a little bit better than the 694th place, but you know, I'll take that. 
A big up to 888 Poker for helping make that happen. And the next community event might be even bigger and even better. All suggestions welcome. You let me know in the comments. But after we played City and Omanoia, we've got Everton away. Now, Everton away for United in the last few years, let's be honest. It's not been the best of grounds. But this is an Everton team which is really, really ugly. And I love that Frank Lampard. I think they're going to be in a relegation scrap. I'll be completely honest. But going into this, I think off the back of uh, that, what I predict... Look, United might come out on top against City. And I absolutely hope we do. But on paper, I'm going to have to back City to have a tight win against us. I think away at Everton, given that that's going to be the case, I'm going to say it's going to be a similar sort of result to the first game against City. But I think we'll come out on the right side of it. I'm backing us to beat Everton at Goodison Park. And then after that, we get Omanoia at home. And again, this, is, this isn't an arrogance thing. This should be a confidence thing. This should be a game where we absolutely trounce them. I'm going for 4-0. It would help if I actually got those in the right place. Oh, well. 4-0 winners against Omanoia. And then we have Newcastle. Now, I suppose that depends on... As I said, the, the little bit of a caveat of doing predictions this early is things can completely change. We may have four injuries going into this game. It completely changes the narrative of it. But how I'm feeling going into the start of this month I've just got, I don't know, call it naivety if you want, but I've got a different feeling about Manchester United at Old Trafford this season. I really, really do. I'm going to back us there to be 2-1 winners over Newcastle. And I think that we should just have a bit more swagger about us at Old Trafford, a bit more confidence about us at Old Trafford. We should be going into games saying, you know what, yeah, we are going to win. We are at home. Let's lead on the front foot. We've always wanted that for a good few years. We haven't seen it too much. I wouldn't say we massively led in the front foot for the full game against Liverpool or, New or Arsenal, but we got the results. Against Newcastle, I want us to. Against Omanoia, I want us to lead on that front foot. It'll be a hard game, though. I think they're a far, far better team under Eddie Howe this season, that's for sure. And then, we've got Spurs coming next. This is going to be a tough game. This is going to be a tough game. and In my opinion, there's only one pre one prediction I think I would confidently say. I don't know whether it's going to be a one-all draw, a two-all draw. I'm not sure. But I think this is going to be too tight to call. Spurs definitely looking very, very good on Conte this year. Um, I think they'll fall a little bit short of City still, absolutely. But Spurs look good. Kane looks good. Kudelewski looks good. Their new signing. They just look like a good team. I think it'll be a decent scrap that game. But I'm backing that game to be a draw there between Spurs and Manchester United. I'm going for a one-all, but let's see what comes next. And then we travel away. The Graham Potter's Chelsea. I think the kickoff's at half four. I think that's actually been decided. But that's what, three days after Spurs? Jeez, man, the game's, good. The game's come so quick in October. We've had, we've had this like huge break because of um, the game's being postponed and the international break all wrapped up into one. And now we've got nine games in 28 days. It's a real test of the squad. And that's a, that's a scary thing, really, when you think about the fact we've got Spurs there and then three days later we play Chelsea. How do we cope with that? How does the squad cope with that? I'm not sure. I'll tell you what. I don't care. I am going for that. I'm going for United to win at Stamford Bridge. I'm only going to Solskjaer made Stamford Bridge his, his playground. Absolutely love getting results there. I remember that Marcus Rashford free kick. I think that was in the FA Cup. Was it the League Cup? Mm, absolute worldy. I'm going for a 2-1 win over Chelsea. I can't particularly uh, justify it with any logical reason right now other than the fact that I'm feeling a bit confident. Let's see what happens in Graham Potter's first few weeks in charge. But October's busy. I don't know why I sang. Busy. I'm backing us to beat Chelsea 2-1. Why not? And then we've got Sheriff at home. I don't even need to show you the game there. This should be, again... Nothing. I reckon this is going to be... A, oh, we've got five-day rest there, I suppose. It should be a game that United come away from. I think, you know what? That was a breeze. That was a breeze. And we need to win all these games because, of course, the last game, I believe, is going to be against Sociedad, which will decide whether or not we go through as group winners. If we don't go through as group winners, we're going to have to play a knockout game. Does anybody want that? Nobody wants that. Three days after Sheriff, though, to, to wrap up the month, We've got West Ham at home. And West Ham have been pretty decent in the last few years, more so than I think anybody would have expected them to be. And I'm actually going to go for this one to be... I think that was the same result last year. Was it Rashford who came up the last-minute winner? I'm going for a 1-0 win over West Ham. 
I want us to have that confidence going into home games. Not arrogance that can lead to complacency, but confidence. We should have confidence after beating Liverpool and Arsenal. And let's see what happens in the games. Who have we got at home before that? We have got Newcastle at home. We've got Spurs at home. And we've got Sheriff and we've got Armanoia at home. So four games at Old Trafford before West Ham. But these are my predictions, right? Let's see what I've actually, actually done. What have I gone for? I've gone for... Roll the whole way up. Too many games. One loss. One win. Two wins. Three wins. Four wins. Then a draw. Then win, win, win. So I'm backing us to have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven wins. <laughs> one defeat and one draw. I'd say that. I, I would definitely take that in October. Maybe I'm being a little bit over optimistic here. Maybe I'm not really uh, factoring in the sort of the lack of time between games. The fact that this is going to really stretch the squad. Uh, that probably is, a, is definitely a fact that I should have factored in, but, but sod that. I've gone for seven wins, a loss, and a draw. You can let me know what you think in the comments below, how wildly wrong you think I am, eh, which I probably will be. But you can get your predictions in the comments, what your feelings going into October. How do you think United will cope? How do you think Ten Hag will cope? That man there. How do you think the squad will cope? The big test here. But let me know what you think in the comments below. Make sure you subscribe to United People's TV. But let's get October started, man. Get back to football. God, the international break.